Now, I was super excited yesterday when I saw it come up on the feed that Home Assistant is finally supporting Apple CarPlay. So I thought I'd try it out in my car and show you how it works. So I took my phone along to the car and tried to connect it and see if CarKit would appear. CarKit opened up, but there was no logo of Home Assistant showing. So I went across, had a look at the documentation. What it says there is that you need to update to the latest version of the Home Assistant app on your phone. Now, I couldn't find a way to do this, and yet it wasn't showing. So what I did, I went back to Home Assistant, and I saw that there was an operating system update to be done. So I updated to the latest version, which is 11.5.RC2. The moment I'd done that, I went back, plugged it into my car, and yay, there was the blue logo. So what I've done is I've done a really quick video showing you what it looks like in my car, as I say, I haven't done much playing with this yet, but I thought I'd show you how it's working and get you, give you a bit of a feel for it. So if we come along to our CarPlay here, you can see over here that we have our CarPlay already showing as a favorite. But if it isn't showing there for you, just scroll along and there's your Home Assistant. First thing that comes up are actions. Now actions are directly pulled in from shortcuts on your smartphone. So I created this shortcut. I'll leave a link in the description below showing you how I created this shortcut. In that time, it's been linked to a NFC tag, but any shortcuts created on the iPhone will appear here if they're linking across to Home Assistant. Next, we go across to areas. So these are areas of the home. So we could, for example, select our living room. It'll pop up all the items in the living room. So down here, I might want to go and turn on my air conditioner. If we go back, we go to other areas, toilet, for example, there's the toilet PIR identifying. Now, not sure about things like that. Identity, yeah, I don't know. That's a PIR, so identify okay that's the identify button within the PIR doesn't seem to be doing much but if we go across here to the living room for example it'll show our lights so we can turn those on and off and it gives you feedback showing the light bulb there so those are all the different areas of your house then we have controls so these are linking directly to different types of things that you control within home assistant so covers for example there's my curtains I can open or close them. Similarly, I could go to lights, for example. That will show all of my lights. I can turn lights on and off in Home Assistant. Really quick, really interactive switches, for example. There's another type of thing I can control. Finally, we've got servers, and that is showing my home server there. So that's the Home Assistant in CarPlay. Really exciting. Let's see what we can do with this in the future. Have a great week then. Bye for now.